Okay, happy Sabbath. I'm sharing also about my conversion story. Uh, but before that, I request everyone to bow their heads as we pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, kindly be with us as we hear your experience through me that you may you give us this inspiration and may it be the for us to be an inspiration to walk closer unto you in Jesus name we pray amen actually i don't want to uh, share my conversion story i am i sometimes hesitate to share my conversion story because it is it seems that i'm sharing my weakness in public but i am always always inspired by the text of uh, saint paul in the book of second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 and it says here therefore i will boast all the more gladly about me my weaknesses so that christ's power may rest on me that is why for christ's sake i delight in weaknesses in insults in hardships in persecutions in difficulties for when i am weak then i am strong okay um i want to share to you my childhood dream what is my childhood dream my childhood dream is simple it is to see my parents happy maybe your question is why what why is that your childhood dream it's a sim very simple dream because i grew up in a family who i'm a, in my early age i'm already exposed with desperation I see always my parents quarreling each other because my father uh, doesn't have a stable job. And then eventually, their quarrel uh, resulted to separation. Yes, I experienced what they so-called broken family. In my early age, I grew up uh, without the comfort of my mother. So I, because I am a papa's boy, I'm sent, uh, I'm sent here in Cavite because my, pa my father is a capitano. So I grew up with a childhood dream, and my dream and my dream in my life is to see my parents happy. I want to see them happy, and I want to see them, uh, uh, they're always smile in their, uh, no, in, their, uh, in their face. So my plan is, to s I, I already make a strategic plan since I was a child. My plan, is, my, plan, uh, my plan is to finish college, to have a good job, because that's my analysis why they are always quarreling. The reason why they are quarreling because of money. They're not financially stable. Financially stable. So my dream is to become an engineer. Became an engineer. So in my early age, I'm always making up. I'm, that is my goal. And to reach that goal, is that is the reason I already fulfilled my the reason of my existence. That's my you know, my childhood uh, thought about myself. So I study hard. I'm not good, but I study hard uh, because I know that that is only my passport uh, to have an academic scholarship in college. Because they cannot send me in college because they are separated. My father doesn't have a good uh, stable job, so. I study hard. Yeah, I study hard. And you know, oh, most of um, or some of you here are studying, uh, graduated in public school. And in public school, competition is so high. Competition is so high. So I study hard. And then, by lo and behold, I reached that. Uh, I reached that goal. I reached that goal. I have already a passport in, in college, but sorry about that because. I ex at that time, when I graduated in college, there's a problem happened in our family, so I decided to work, not to go in college, not to go in college. Then, sabi ko sa sarili, work muna, work muna, and then I will, to, if I earn money, and then I will go to college. But it doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen. So I went home again, I went home again, then I accepted the offer of my father to enroll in Philippine National Police Academy to be a uh, 
government scholar in studying uh, to be a police officer. And then I accepted the challenge. I, I took an examination in Philippine National Police Academy. And then I, I passed the exam. But while waiting for the, for the second phase of examination, I met an Adventist, uh, Adventist missionary. Then we studied the Bible and Daniel Revelation. Then I decided to be an Adventist. For me, to be an Adventist, it's already a calling. Why? Because I need to choose at that time uh, between PNPA and AUP. And then in choosing that, it's very hard to choose between that two. Because you know, in PNPA, you are a scholar, full-time scholar, and then you have already a salary. But in AUP, I need to work. I need to work. I need to work. So I asked advice and counsel in my relatives, in my, pa my parents, and they're saying to me, right, ba nababaliw na? It's common sense. It's common sense. Choose PNPA rather than AUP. Yeah. But I say to myself, yes, the best thing to choose is a uh, PNPA, but not all the best thing is the right one. Because the right one for me is AUP. That I know that in AUP, I will, uh, I will grow spiritually. Yes, I choose AUP. Even my parents hated that decision. Yes, they are dis disappointed. My relatives, uh, most of them, all of them, they are, <laughs> they are excited <laughs> to, be a have, to have a uh, to have a cousin who is soon to be a general someday. Oh, but <laughs> I choose AUP. They don't understand my decision. They don't understand. But I cannot, I cannot blame them because they don't know the, the truth at that time. So I went in AUP. I, uh, I work in, uh, in our swimming pool, uh, in swimming pool department. I work there. In almost three months, I work there. But when this first semester comes, uh, there is a, my academic scholarship, when I apply and then, then my academic scholarship, I got my academic scholarship at that time. And then one of the elders of the church helps me in my tuition fee. And then when I got the scholarship and then the help of the church, I thought to myself, what is my childhood dream? When I choose to be a pastor or in theology, ah, it will aggravate the disappointment and angry of my parents. So I decided to choose accountancy. That's the reason. Because I'm, I'm, I'm what my subject that I like since childhood is math. I'm not good in language. I'm in math. I'm in arithmetic. And I'm in numbers. So I decided to choose accountancy. Then I said to, to, Lord, to God, Lord, when I became a CPA, that's my time to share my faith with my parents and with my relatives. I will show to them that they are wrong about me. Uh, they are wrong. So, but, sabi ko sa Panginoon, Lord, I will spend my, all my vacation, school breaks with you. Same break, December break, summer break, and you know, maybe some of my friends know that, I'm always in Boys of Youth. I'm, I've been in boys' dispute most of my times. And then, that's what I did. But, lo and behold, every year, yes, I passed the comprehensive exam. I passed, but I passed the academic, my academic scholarship, but I, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want the subject. I'm just doing it just to pass. Just to pass. I still, there is a struggle always in me. Then I was elected an AWA leader of the church. Then eventually, uh, the AWA leader of the district. And then that's the time that my father, my parents became an Adventist also. My sister, my younger brothers, my son, uh, my, my sisters, my son-in-law, my sisters-in-law, uh, they became also an Adventist. And then I see them, uh, I am happy always in week, weekend going home because I am with the family worshiping God. I'm with my family worshiping God. And then I see to them the happy faces worshiping God. It's, I'm not used to it. When you are early in the morning, my papa will wake us up to pray. 
my mother uh, in the evening he will she will lead to us the worship i'm not used to it maybe some of you are used to it but we uh we are i'm i'm not used to it we are not used to it that's why at that time i think to myself when i became the away leader of the the area of the cavite when i was elected the area leader of the cavite uh my the struggle intensify what shall I choose? <laughs> Do I need to become a minister or a pastor? And the church members always encouraging me, Ed Edgar, just to be a pastor, it's your line. It's your line. But I'm always, always saying, no, I can serve the Lord. When I became a CP, I can serve the Lord. <laughs> I can serve the Lord. But in the back of my mind, I'm saying that they are right. They are right. That's why this last year, 2016, 2016, I decided to study uh, theology. And I decided to study theology. But the question is, when I called to my sister abroad, she, she said to me, because she is not Adventist, she's the one who is sponsoring me and helping me in my studies. She told me, Toy, hindi kita tutulungan. Hindi kita tutulungan. I don't want you to be a Minister, if you want it, so do it on your own. So I pray to God, and then it's already start of the class at the time, first time of 2016. I received a call. I received a call, and then I was surprised because it is one of the elder of the church, and she told me, Edgar, where are you right now? And then she. I told to her, uh, I mean, uh, um, Nay, nandito po ko sa bahay. <laughs> and then, why you are not in AUP? Uh, I can, I say to, to her, Ma'am, Nay, hindi po ako maka-enroll. <laughs> hindi po ako maka-enroll. And then she told me, okay, I will sponsor you in your study. And for me, this is the final confirmation that God is, all, <laughs> is calling me into, into this ministry. So, I take this challenge, I study theology, and then I ask for a blessing with my family. And then I, I cannot forget the, the, the statement of my, my mama with me when I'm asking for their blessing. I go, Ma, mag-aaral ako ang pagpapastor. Yung aking pangarap sa inyo nung bata pa ay hindi ko magagawa. <laughs> because today, I already, I already see to in your faces that God already uh, answered my, uh, my childhood dream. Because I'm see, uh, when I see each of you worshiping God, I know to myself that God already answered my childhood dream. I cannot make it with my money or with my, with my, uh, my profession or whatever. Only God can make happy ha, uh, only god can give you happiness then my mama and my papa said to me anak we are proud of you go agaral ka we give to you our blessing the reason why i took theology and that's my short testimony of my life i i hope and i believe i pray that that testimony of mine can inspire each of you in our calling, uh, in achieving or in, in the calling that God has given in each of us. Happy Sabbath and thank you.